So here we're going to be using the Teensy LC board, one of the many Teensy boards which has the touch pins shown here in yellow, where hardware capacitive touch is supported, which gives much faster readings than if using the capacitive libraries and additional resistors. So we have our simple sketch, and this has pin 23 set as our input, and we were using the LED initially on 13. So we're just going to do touch read as specified in the documentation in the links. And if it's above a threshold, we'll send the MIDI note. And if it's below a threshold, we'll turn the note off again. So this is a combination of capacitive touch and the basic MIDI examples. So you could look at your values in the serial output, or you could use the visual micro serial debugger just to draw you some charts of these values it's a bit easier to see what's going on so we'll just add in our trace point and just our standard plot command again the documentations in the links so it's that simple and we'll set it to the serial debugger and do a normal upload and the debugger will start and this will provide some charts when it runs so this is shown in other videos so we'll just skip to look at those charts now so here we see the large peak on the left with a large difference in value and that's just using a wire and a piece of foil or a, the back of a pcb it obviously work just as well and then the very low bump you see zoomed in here is actually our, our pencil part so this is our pencil sketch on a piece of paper, a much smaller difference, but there is a noticeable one. So somewhere around 710 from the chart is where we'll set our threshold, as you can see here in the code. So make sure you've set your USB type on the Visual Micro menu to be serial or serial and MIDI in this case, sorry, or just MIDI if you just want the MIDI part. And we'll turn all the debug options off now because we've worked out where our threshold will be and we just need to do an upload of that code again to our board so that's the software done so we just need to collect together our parts so a pencil some wires some clips to hold the wires to the paper and then on the top right we've got some of our 3d printed inductive sensors so you're going to want to lay these out on your page whether it's the 3d printed ones or the pencil bit and you're going to want to go over the pencil lines quite a lot to give a good conductivity. And then you can just use the clips to hold the wire to the conductive pencil area. And this will allow it to sense when you're touching it. So if we load up the MIDI OX program, we need to go into the MIDI devices and ensure we've configured our inputs and our outputs. Obviously your TNT should be showing up here now you've configured it to be a USB type of MIDI and uploaded the code. We'll make sure our options are set. This is just to demonstrate the MIDI capability. So if you turn the sound on. music playing by touching our piece of paper and of course when I find the right option <laughs> you'll be able to change what instruments you're playing as well as what notes and other effects are applied so you've now got a whole orchestra inside your notebook essentially which is very handy and very convenient and of course as it's drawn on a piece of paper you could draw any layout or, or shape of instruments as it were to suit your needs. Of course this is just to demonstrate the MIDI capability in this program however you'd probably be using something more advanced once you get into your music editing. 